you think he's actually from Michigan? <sighs> probably not. He was probably told to. He was probably told to study. I don't know. Study up on the local area. And I don't know. Just I don't because he says like a bunch of stuff like that. Like I don't know. Michiganders would do or know or say. I don't know. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah. So. I don't know. Props to him if he does research. If he's not, he does research. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all that stuff between him and Casey were just like off, all fake. Uh, I th believe that he. Say one more time. Say again, y'all. Oh uh, yeah, um, no, no, I, be I believe they they actually know each other. Yeah, but they're not a couple or anything. But she was paid a couple thousand bucks to come out for what was she for three days or something? Is there anything that you wish you could redo? Here. Yeah. Um. Probably the worst decision I've made was yesterday when I. Uh, let him know about uh, where my chips were. Mm -hmm. That was most definitely. I don't know. I I I've been kicking myself for that, like for <laughs> ever since I did it. Mm -hmm. I there was so much. I don't know. There was so much smarter ways for me to go about that. Mm -hmm. But and you even told me not to trust him. And, I did anyway. I I don't know. I just I don't know. I guess I just really wanted him to. I wanted to believe that he was my friend and ally. Mm -hmm. But that was stupid of me. Rose-colored uh, glasses. There. Have you done that previously in your life? Have you wanted to believe that someone was uh, something they obviously weren't? Yeah. Who? I don't know. Is this being? Like a recorded? No. Okay. Well, I've got this friend, and uh, I don't know. He's uh, well. I mean, he's not as bad as like the situation now, but it's just like he's just kind of. I don't know. He's been real ornery and temperamental, and mm -hmm. he's kind of rude to people. And I really wanted to be like. And I want to be his friend and stuff, but at the same time, he's just like, I don't know. I don't know. Just, I don't, I, well, I don't think it's as bad as a case as the Brian thing is, mm -hmm. but it's, uh, I don't know. It's sort of similar to that. Mm -hmm. Brian picked you and he said, I can definitely break this guy. Well, he, I guess he was right. <laughs> Would you say you, you're not broken? You wouldn't say you're broken. You're still here. I mean, yeah, but I don't know. Oh, thanks. But it's just that, I don't know. I mean, he's still sort of broken. He's made me trust him, even though all things considering, I shouldn't have trusted him, you know? Yeah, that's not breaking someone. Okay. He upset you, or you know, it's a temporary setback. <clears throat> How are you going to change your life starting right now? What are you going to do differently? What are you going to do differently in the house? First off, just like I don't know, I've been considering that because, like, I want to. I, I want to believe in people. Like, I want, I think Taylor, I don't know. I think Taylor isn't an actor, but I don't know if I can even trust myself to even, like, believe that. So, I just, I don't know. I want to try to, I would, was thinking, like, lone wolfing it, maybe. Like, trying to be friendly. Just sort of go with the flow. But, uh, 
I don't know. Just try to be cool about that. <coughs> Is there anything you'll do differently once you leave that house? I don't know. Just be careful who I trust because I'm unfortunately a little too trusting, I guess, to a naive, perhaps gullible level. And you were talking about you were talking about your friend who was what rude to you or, or no. he's abrasive. So has, there, has anybody violated your trust in the past? Um, I probably have the fortune to say no. I, I no no one has. So you're brand new. Yeah. How old are you again? Twenty three. Mm -hmm. If you could wake up anywhere tomorrow, where would it be? Uh, here. Here? I mean, yeah. Why is that? I don't know. Like, I'm in the game. Tell me something about yourself that nobody knows. I'll know if it's fake. Um, um, no one knows. Um, when I was a kid, uh, at 12 years old, I, uh, spilled, I got this, uh, new laptop, and I accidentally spilled hot chocolate on it. <coughs> and I, I never told my, like, parents about it, and, uh, It uh, broke, and uh, I never told anyone the real cause of it. And no one, no, no one knows about that except me. The old hot chocolate laptop trick. Unfortunately. Do you carry guilt from that? A little. Like, uh, I should, I don't know. I should have been honest. I was afraid <coughs> of, of, I don't know, my mom yelling at me and being upset. Is that the thing that you feel the guiltiest about? The guiltiest? The thing I feel the guiltiest about is, uh, when I was uh, uh, 20, I uh, went to, I, uh, so I worked at Wendy's mm -hmm. and I, uh, I don't know, I just had, I worked there for a year, I had enough time with it, I didn't want to be there anymore, I was just upset with everything about it, and, uh, oh no, I, I just stopped working there, I didn't tell my dad about it, I, I don't, I, I lied about it, I, well, I, I don't know, I pretend I was still going to work, and I, unfortunately, involved others into it, and eventually got out and I, uh, I don't know, didn't, I don't know. The thing you feel guilty about is not working at Wendy's? I mean, it's not, I mean, I felt good about not working at Wendy's, but I lied to my dad. 
and you lied to your dad. Yeah, and uh, it just didn't feel good. You still close to him? Yeah. Did you ever tell him about the Wendy's thing? I mean, yeah, he found out about it. Well, does he know you feel guilty for lying about it? I think so, yeah. I hope so. You think and you hope so? Mm hmm. Do you have any idea why the other people in here don't take you seriously? I don't know. Just, I don't know, because I'm not very... I don't know, I thought they did... I thought they did take me seriously with yesterday, but... I don't know, if I were to guess, it's that, uh, I don't know, they probably think I'm sort of a dope. Was it yet? Didn't yesterday you failed the hot dog thing? No, but like the, the beef thing though. Oh, yeah. I mean, okay. Did you have an answer for that question? Why don't they take you seriously? I don't know, I think it's just, they think like I'm a dope, maybe? A dope? Like... I don't know. I probably don't appear to be the brightest guy. I'm not, they don't like have a uh, deadly, I don't know, a, like a deadly drive like them. At least I don't show it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know I was, I don't know. I, I thought I was taken more seriously around here. But I guess not. Well, the most of the actors think that you're not really a good candidate for the social experiment element of what we're doing. Why? I could be the dopiness. I don't know. I just hear them sort of laughing and gossiping and catch little vapors of that every once in a while. Honestly? Mm hmm But why? I don't know. I haven't talked to him about that. We don't really have a chance to communicate too much. I just... Is there anything I can do to be better? Good question. I'll let you know. If I think of anything. Maybe wear shoes. I think sort of going around barefoot's kind of just visually. I don't know if it's the best look. No, I, I don't. I, just, I don't know. Okay. I, I thought other people go around barefoot too. Yeah, because they don't care about their like whatever. I don't think they look dopey with no shoes on. I'm just saying, if you want to look, you know, spiff it up a bit, maybe put some shoes on. Okay. You don't have to. I'm not telling you to do that. You can do whatever you want. Do you have any a guess as to how we communicate with them? Uh, do um, my guess would be when like sort of you and I and like all the other people like sort of our like mini interviews and stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, they you guys sort of communicate through them with that. Mm -hmm. That's would be my guess. Mm -hmm. It's a reasonable guess. Would you be willing to hurt other people to win this? <laughs> like emotionally? Yeah. Um, I prefer not to. I know, obviously, you prefer not to. That's why it's an interesting question. Is because you're not the type of guy that would prefer to hurt someone emotionally. But if it comes down to it, if someone, if you knew that you could get a guaranteed win by hurting people emotionally, what would you do? What would I do? Mm -hmm. I don't mean specifically what you do to hurt people emotionally. I'm just saying, would you be willing to do it? I 
Maybe. 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 I want you to, I want you to try something. I want you to close your eyes. I want you to visualize and actually pretend like it's happening. I want you to actually pretend like it's happening. I want you to tell me how it would feel after all this, after your, infor your information being online, people sending you these TTS messages, going home, your home life probably changing. How would it feel to lose this game? How would it feel to lose this game? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, it would suck, but at the end, of, I mean, yeah, I mean, it would suck, but like, at the end of the day, like, uh, it was, it, it would be cool to, uh, be a part of something greater than myself. And, uh, I don't know, just, uh, I don't know, maybe helping in some small way provide for the art that's being created here. If the art that was being created here was a Truman show like experience where you're the only person that's not, not a paid actor, and you fucked it by not winning and going home early and fucked the entire production, how would that feel? Because uh... I'll tell you how I feel. I'd go, whoopsie daisy, we ended three weeks early. Bye everybody, never doing it again. Good job, good show, great show. And then I'd give myself a round of applause Uh, if I did that, if you were the only person that's not a paid actor in here, so when you walk or you break or you don't perform, it just makes the whole show pointless. How would you feel if that were the case and you quit early or you backed out early or you backed down and didn't, didn't perform something that was pivotal? I guess I would feel pretty bad, pretty shameful. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. Confused, I guess. Just, I don't know, bad. Bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can open your eyes. That would be bad. What's that? Do you know today's date, by the way? I think it's the 19th? Oh, no, 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 it's the 29th. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's correct. cart back when you're done shopping yeah always 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 even if it's terribly inconvenient always yeah mm -hmm.